Hey Scorpios and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your weekly love reading from May 6th through the 12th. First sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I'm going to do a little bit different uh, for the weeklies. I am going to just pull your energy uh, between you and your person, an outcome card, and then I will clarify with two different decks for your guys' uh, where each of you are at. So this will be for Scorpios and the cross -watchers. I will also uh, pull from the bottom of the deck as well for your outcomes. All right, Scorpios. Let's get the energy for Scorpios. All right, your first card out is the Eight of Cups in reverse. Your second card out is the Knight of Wands in reverse. And your last card out for your energy is the Ten of Cups. Your outcome is the Lovers. Oops. Your bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pen or Ten of Wands, clarified with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Swords in reverse. And your uh, card is here at the bottom, so I'm pulling it, followed by the Emperor. So two major arcana in your outcome for the near future. Scorpio, so I'm going to tip you down here so you can see what is going on with your cards. All right. So we will start with your shared energy. So really laying down the burden, putting, ending a cycle to a situation where you felt, um, you, where you were carrying all the weight, um, or you were doing all the work, or you were the one that um, had to take care of all the details to the situation. Um, you could have been waiting on a earth sign to move forward. Um, if they're not an earth sign, they were taking on the earth sign qualities, and they were moving so slow, they became stuck, um, leaving you stuck in the past, but no longer feeling like you have to continue carrying this burden. Um, this could be you or them. Uh, I will pull clarifiers for each side. So somebody is putting down the burden due to somebody moving too slow and no longer allowing the thoughts to keep them stuck in one place. So you are going through a transformation, Scorpio, with you coming out in your own reading in the upright, amazing energy followed by the emperor. You're really coming, becoming who you're meant to be allowing everything to purge out, allowing things to come to an end, major cycles here with the Ten of Swords and the Death card, spiritual transformations leading you directly into the Emperor, being a very successful, stable, confident person um, and vibrating at a very high, high level. Um, that is beautiful. Going straight in from the... Uh, death right into the emperor card could be dealing with an aries as well since these are both uh major arcana and both together at the bottom of the deck with yours um very well could be um your person well is a um aries or somebody who's very powerful somebody who um owns their own company i'm seeing so many things come in for that one so all right why is the eight of cups here in reverse for scorpio Thank you. All right, the Two of Pentacles. So somebody uh, is not leaving a situation that is emotionally draining to them. That is emotionally, um, you've emotionally invested in this for a long time and you don't want to give up on them. Even though they were juggling your energy, bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. Even though there's somebody juggling here, you feel that this person is your soulmate. Um, so you're finding it hard to walk away um, and leave the, you know, let this relationship go because uh, you do feel the uh, eternal bond to them, that connection. Um, you could be the one, uh, Scorpio, that has somebody more than two people or more than one person in your energy um, and you could be the one that is putting that relationship that third party to a rest 
but it doesn't have to be. It's just not giving up on this person because you've invested a lot in them. All right, the Knight of uh, Wands is here in reverse. So, um, no longer being so back and forth, so flighty. Um, you could be putting a stop to this energy. You could be purging this um, energy from them coming back and forth, bouncing back and forth. You could be the one that has been juggled, yet you still can't find a way to move away from them, Scorpio, even though... Um, I'll, it was based a lot on sex, um, a physical attraction. You really feel a connection to this person. Um, and with both of these in reverse, it's not moving forward. You're at a stall. Um, you have three nights all in reverse. So this is a very stalled relationship. Um, there's like no movement here. The Eight of Cups is in reverse and all three nights are in reverse. There's just no movement. Let's see what the Ten of Cups is here for. What's the Ten of Cups here for Scorpio? All right. Well, then I lied because now we got movement. All right. So um, beginning at the beginning of the week, you're um, not sure what to do. You're back and forth, um, unsure whether to release this, to let this go, to move forward. Um, there's no movement. It's like you guys are stuck in place. Uh, there's no truth coming forward. There's there's just no movement. But you could be at the end of a cycle with this person. The Ten of Cups is not always with. Um, a happily ever after because you do have the death card so you're going through this purging energy you have all the knights in reverse you have the eight of swords and the ten of wands so this is a very draining relationship and you um could be leaving that draining relationship and moving towards your ten of cups i do believe for this group of you you are the one that had the third party scorpio you are the one that could not decide that's why you didn't know where to go so you just stayed you didn't move anywhere you just stayed in this position and continued to juggle this energy um because you didn't know which direction to move in um but now you are making this decision you now are leaving behind that eight of cups and moving towards the ten of cups it's taken a lot of self-reflection and a lot of courage to go within and decide to face your fear to do some internal work some you know internal work and really master your own self before you moved forward you do have these blessings coming in but you're at a distance from somebody um yeah your your ships are going to come in this distance is going to close out because you are moving forward and you're moving forward with that six of swords. So you're moving away from this um, situation that has been burdensome and you're allowing your inner guide to lead you towards this 10 of cups. Um, could be uh, heading towards a fire sign and away from a air sign Scorpio um, is what I'm seeing here. So this fire sign is who you are going through this transformation and heading towards giving up the air sign and moving then towards this fire sign. You are choosing love. This is a very blessed uh, relationship. This is, um, you know, blessed by Archangel Michael. You know that this is the person that you're meant to be with, uh, Scorpio. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, you're following your intuition. You're moving towards somebody and choosing somebody that at one point in time was a secret or that you hid your feelings from. You weren't always open with this person about where um, your feelings uh, lied, but you are now going to follow your heart. This is the yin and the yang, the balance. Um, this person brings you balance. So you are going to walk away from that emotionally draining situation, leaving um, from for um, the majority of you, an air sign possibly uh, or somebody with air sign qualities. But most definitely, you're choosing love. You're allowing your intuition to guide you to the relationship that you feel you're meant to be in. Um, finding a lot of success. Yep. You're moving away from this burdensome situation. Moving forward and 
not looking back. Right now, you are in a place of pause, and that's why this is in a stuck position. I said they're moving so slow, they're stuck, and it's being clarified with the hanged man. This is a time of reflection. This is a time to um, take a pause, or in this pause, you're going to figure out which direction you want to move in. So instead of moving in the wrong direction, you're taking your time, and you're putting yourself in this time of wait and delay so you can figure out who you want to offer your love to. You are going to get out of this position of feeling stuck and follow your heart. You're going to go to the person who you feel um, you have unconditional love for. And look at that. It may be slow, but you are moving at a steady pace now. You're going to get out of this Eight of Swords feeling. So, wow, the next card is Ace of Wands. So, very... Um, Yeah, you've been stuck for a little bit, Scorpio. Been trying to figure out which direction to move in. You didn't want to make the wrong choice. You didn't want to hurt anybody. But I do see you, um, even though at the beginning of the week it is in reverse, I do see you moving forward once you make the choice of who to be with. Let's see what your cross watcher is up to. Why is Scorpio's cross watcher have the Eight of Cups in reverse? Scorpio's cross watcher. Thank you. All right. And the Knight of Wands. And the Ten of Cups. And the lovers. Wow. Three major arcana there. All right. Eight cups. Next one out. And that was the next one out. All right. So your cross watcher, um, the energy for you cross walker, watcher dealing with a Sag or a Sagittarius, a Scorpio. Your Scorpio is having a hard time moving forward, making a decision and cutting themselves out of a situation that they're currently in. However, they are going to move. The Scorpio will move towards or out of the situation where they're emotionally drained and move towards you as they seen. Um, Scorpio had the chariot in the shared energy. So it is the Scorpio moving away from a third party situation, leaving an emotionally draining situation and heading towards you, the cross watcher. Um, they, they weren't coming towards you in, in any quick motion <laughs> because they didn't want to come at you. Scorpios did not want to come at you in the way they were before. They didn't want it to be just about sex. They didn't want it to be, you know, in and out. Um, and they had to take some time to heal um, from things of their past, relationships of the past, the relationship they're leaving. They had to take some time to really figure out what their truth was, to uh, take a step back and to heal. Um, so they weren't continuing in that juggling energy. Uh, the two of you will have the Ten of Cups um, when they leave the person that they're currently with. Uh but they have to leave that relationship first. This is a soulmate connection for the two of you cross watchers. They do view you as their soulmate. Um, and they do want this Ten of Cups life with you. But first they must uh, move away from this energy that has drained uh, them. Like I said, Archangel Michael is blessing this union, is blessing this relationship. So this Scorpio will be choosing... Uh, the love or will be choosing the cross watcher um, when the stars are aligned in the right position. This is for me, divine timing. So, um, not only is there healing here, but the stars are moving. Uh, they're finding the strength and the courage to move forward, mastering that inner self. These are like the exact same cards, but with a different deck. So amazing. This is heaven sent. This is guided by the universe to come together. This is a faded relationship. Um, that is destined to come in together as soon as the healing has taken place and the inner work is done. Um, once again, could be a fire sign you're moving towards uh, Scorpio. So in your bottom of the deck, uh, Crosswatcher, 
you, uh, this person could have possibly blocked you, not been communicating with you, and it left you with this very heavy burden of whether to move on or not, hoping that you heard from the Scorpio, hoping that, uh, that they would come back and relieve this weight that you've been carrying on your shoulders. Uh, they haven't moved, they've been moving very slow, they've been very stuck, because they've been dealing with a lot of outside influences and a lot of inner conflict. That is coming to an end. Um... And you're no longer feeling trapped by this cross watcher because you have healed over the broken heart. Um, your person, your Scorpio, is no longer feeling stuck because they have realized that the Two of Cups lies in you. And the Three of Cups that were spilled, they are healed over that. They are healing over that. And if you see this, when they give up the Eight of Cups in search of the Two of Cups, they get the Ten of Cups, which is also the Three of and the two here. So, uh, cross watchers, you do have a Scorpio coming towards you, um, or vice versa. Uh, put it wherever your energy fits the situation, because sometimes there's more than, uh, you know, you're both Scorpio in your chart, or, you know, however it fits, fit, take whichever side fits, and the other one applies to the cross watcher. So, um, getting out of this feeling of stuck, realizing these three of cups are not the end of the world, that that two of cups is still here and holds the key to the happiness. So Scorpios, I do see you moving forward after this transformation that you're com uh, going through and coming out looking, you're coming out on top. You have so many huge major arcana here. Um, you have the chariot, you have the star, which the chariot rides into the star after the tower. So you've already been through the tower moment. You're going through this major life's uh, transformation, the spiritual transformation, working, doing the inner work, finding that inner strength, facing that fear, finding that courage, and choosing the love that you're meant to have uh, Scorpios. So let me get a romance angel card here for you guys. I get one card for Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. All right. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. The two of you will be coming back together. It's going to take some work. There was some hurt here. There was some, you know, arguing. There was some heaviness to this relationship. So um, give your relationship a chance because when the two of you come back together, um, you are going to be getting to know each other all over again, um, revealing your innermost selves to each other as your bond deepens because the two of you are not the same people you were when you guys left each other. You are two different people who have grown and ascended and learned your karmic lessons and dealt with your karmic debts. And now the two of you can enjoy um, getting to know each other as you give this a second go around. So, all right, Scorpios, I have. I hope you have a beautiful week. Um, thank you for coming to my channel, watching my video, cross watchers as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this spread, and I will see you next time. God bless.